before we start, I want everyone to check out my jacket. I made this. I'm very proud of it. So this episode is all about food I ate on the 1200 mile Pacific Northwest Trail. This is all about backpacking food. This is probably one of my number one episodes I really wanted to do because what I ate on the trail seemed to absolutely fascinate people. The two most popular questions I got asked were what do you eat and why are you doing this? So today we're answering one and then the second one I'll answer in a different video. It's all about keeping it light, cheap, and delicious. If you're planning on doing a through hike this summer or if you're just gonna take a weekend backpacking trip, hopefully this video gets you thinking a little bit differently about your food, maybe giving you some ideas on food options because they're there's actually quite a bit out there if you just educate yourself and you try new things. So that's exactly what I did on this trail. I kept trying new food until I got it down to a science of the food I loved that tasted really, really good to me and also gave me enough fuel to average 17 to 20 miles a day. So to make this video a little bit easy to follow, I picked three breakfast meals that I made, three lunch meals and three dinner meals and then a couple snacks that I really, really loved, and then a couple beverages that I drank quite often. So let's get into it. These are my top backpacking concoctions of food that really worked for me. I went out and re-bought everything so I could take some B-roll of it and just actually show you the brands that I really liked in case you wanted to get it very specific to what I was eating. So for breakfast, my number one thing I ate was something called Mulesy. It's from Bob's Red Mill and it's Musili. Musili. I'm just gonna say it's Musili, but I, I can't pronounce this word. And what it is, it's a, it's like a, um, it's an oatmeal, but it comes with everything. It comes with the dried fruit and the nuts. Everything's already in here. I cooked it in the morning, just like oatmeal, but you can also eat it like granola, just throw it in your mouth, or you can cold soak it and you just add some water to it. It's a great alternative to oatmeal because oatmeal can get really, really boring really, really fast. So the second breakfast item food that I really loved were these Belve... What? Belvita, these Belvita bars. My favorite flavor were the cranberry orange. And what I would do is I would open this and I would dip it into almond butter. I love peanut butter, I love almond butter. And this is a really good source of protein and I really tried to add this to my breakfast items whenever I can. My third breakfast meal that I ate a lot of was I wrapped a banana in a tortilla with the almond butter. So just smeared the almond butter all over the tortilla and I put a banana right in the center, rolled it up. That was one of my favorite breakfast foods. I know bananas are a little heavy, so when I did do this, this was the first breakfast I ate. So I would make sure to get rid of the banana and just eat it so I didn't have to carry it. But I did have instant coffee as well. So with every breakfast item, I did make coffee. Okay, so those were my breakfast items. Let's move on to lunch. My top three favorite lunch meals on the Pacific Northwest Trail in no particular order. Actually, a particular order because I'm gonna say it is. I'm gonna say this is my favorite thing I ate on trail. Madra's Lentils by Tasty Bite. These are lentils cooked in like a creamy tomato sauce. I would put the lentils in a tortilla with slices of cheese, roll it up. You've got a burrito. It's phenomenal. So if you're going backpacking, definitely give these a try. It's really heavy. This weighs a good 20 pounds. Well, at least it feels like it. So I would just um, off to eating this first. The second meal that I absolutely loved was a cheese sandwich. Just like a boring, normal cheese sandwich with cheese and any kind of bread I could find. And if I was around a fire or I could make a fire, I would make a grilled cheese. The third lunch meal that I ate on the reg, star kissed tuna creations. I loved the lemon pepper one, but then also I really got into the chicken of the sea, the pink salmons, so I would alternate, but I would put these in a tortilla with some slices of cheese. These are just my go-to, I absolutely love these. I'm sitting on the side of the road having lunch. I hate doing this. I wish I was on a trail, but just gotta do it. One more day, gotta just do it. Eating my lunch on the side of the road. Let's move on to dinner. My dinner, um, I really looked forward to, so <laughs> I really picked things that are very flavorful, but um, very easy to cook and very light. My, my first dinner meal is something so simple and easy. Everybody's heard of it and that's macaroni and cheese. I loved the Anne's homegrown macaroni and cheese. Maybe it's a little bit more healthy or organic than the Kraft kind, but the Kraft kind is delicious. We have fire! Ah! And I'm making mac and cheese tonight, so 
I'm excited. Because I love me some mac and some cheese. Come on, fire. Come on, baby. Macaroni and cheese. Next dinner meal is one of the most popular things you could possibly eat on trail. It's so easy to make. It takes two seconds, literally almost two seconds. Um, it's extremely light and it's couscous. My favorite kinds of couscous is from Near East, the Parmesan kind and the roasted garlic and olive oil. Couscous is one of the most simple things to make on trail. You just add water and it cooks in like three minutes. It's got like vitamin D and calcium and iron and potassium. Uh, and copper, it actually has a lot of nutrients in it for just being, I don't even know what it is, wheat. With my couscous that I made in the evenings, I always added dried vegetables and dried beans. This is something I really got into doing. You can purchase dried really anything in any grocery store, like in the soup aisle. I love to add like peppers and corn and beans and I would add just dried vegetables to give the couscous just a little bit more flair, a little bit more taste. Oh, I forgot. One of the most important things too I added to my couscous and my dried vegetables was Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is awesome and it's light. Last dinner item that I absolutely loved were these, and let's see, Bear Creek. Okay, so this one's Bear Creek. So these are soups. These are family styled package soups. These soups, Family size make eight servings. I would take the soup and I would distribute it amongst like four bags and then each bag would be a meal. This is insanely cheap too. These soups in a bag, like this is a minestrone one from Bear Creek. This was like four bucks and this is easily, it makes eight servings. So this is like eight meals for $4. These soups, this this soup is by Bear Creek. Um, here, wait, I got another one. I love the brand. Idahoan, Idahoan, and this is a steakhouse uh, cheddar broccoli potato soup. So at the end of a really long hiking day, oh, I loved making this kind of thing. Th this stuff is delicious. Anything from Idaho, Idahoan, Idahoan, um, I really, really loved. These bagged soups are so great. So great if you are not familiar with them, they're in your soup aisle and there's tons of different flavors and yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's do uh, snacks. One of my favorite things in life. My favorite snacks, number one, I freaking love corn nuts. I never ate corn nuts until I started hiking. I love corn nuts, especially when I'm tired and I'd sit down and take a break and I would keep the corn nuts in my little side pouch and I would just like munch on them like a little squirrel. Second, uh, as far as bars, I love kind bars. Um, my favorite flavor is the almond and coconut kind. An RX bar, everybody loves RX bars. My favorite one was chocolate sea salt. Ha, <laughs> so freaking delicious. If you follow my journey on the Pacific Northwest Trail, you know I have a sick, sick addiction to Kettle Brand potato chips. So good. Those are just my favorite little snacks. So um, as far as beverages, uh, I wanna say 90% of the time I had tea at night. Oh, this is, oh, this is a good one. This is one of Diana's top food beverage items on the Pacific Northwest Trail. Um, house wine. I, I'm such a wine person. Okay, welcome to my tent. Very exciting. Look at this. I'm camping in the middle of a lake. All right, so this is how I deal with my long hiking days. This is it right here. One of these cans equal a half a bottle of wine, and these usually run about $4.99, maybe $5. So this is one of Diana's top picks for food and beverages on the Pacific Northwest Trail. And if you were following me, I took quite a bit of pictures of my canned wine. I was very proud of my canned wine. I don't wanna bring all my food in the shop because it's kind of ridiculous. So this is all the stuff that I ate uh, a majority of the time on the Pacific Northwest Trail. This is what worked for me. For those of you who are not familiar with it, the Pacific Northwest Trail is 1200 miles from Glacier National Park in Montana to Cape Alava on the Washington coast. And you're going up and down mountains and it's very strenuous and it's hard. The weather is cold and it's wet and it's a lot of things. So food was such a positive thing in my world while on this trail. All these things I looked forward to eating. I looked forward to getting to camp and to making a meal. And that's what I really, really loved. I wanna do another food video in the next like uh, couple months. So if you have any backpacking meals or snacks that you absolutely love, direct message me on Instagram. My handle is right here. 
And for all you people out there who asked me, Diana, what do you eat? This video is ultimately for you, so you stop asking me. Okay, I gotta clean this up. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye. I can't, I had a train of thought and then I just totally let Foods I'm gonna talk about. Oh my God, I literally just, my foot missed the bottom of. But I want it so bad. <laughs> yeah, the thing about me is I can't have any candy or any kind of sweets on trail because I will eat it the first like hour I start hiking. I have no self-control, zero. Potato chips and fruit roll-ups and like anything fruity and sour, like Sour Patch Kids, I won't stop until there are none left. I literally, wait, in the corner of my eye, this, this is how bad my addiction to sweets are. In the corner of my eye have been the Sour Patch Kids that I got for Christmas. They've literally been over there. So in between takes, I'm just like, I want those so bad.